Welcome to Theory of Pets. I'm a passionate pet owner with a drive to help others like me uncover the truth about the pet industry and what goes on behind the scenes. Have you guys heard about clean eating? It's a term that's kind of thrown around. I don't know if anybody really has a good understanding of what it means as far as when somebody says, you know, I'm trying to eat clean or, oh, I'm on that new clean eating kick. But the definition of clean eating really is, it's a very simple concept, almost deceptively so. It just means that you're eating whole real foods that are minimally processed or not processed at all if possible, not refined, not handled. Basically, they are as close to their natural form as possible. So you're not eating chicken meal. You're eating real 100% chicken meat. Um, And that's really what clean eating is all about. If you've been doing research on pet food, if you've been looking for a new type of food for your dog or cat, um, and you or you just kind of keep up with what's going on in the pet industry, you'll know that a lot of the trends that we're seeing with human foods are now becoming more and more popular in the pet industry. And this is true for clean eating as well. Pet parents, and I'm one of them, are beginning to focus more on what's in their dog's food. We've realized through a very lengthy list of recalls on pet products, especially food and treats in recent years, that we can't just trust what's on the label. We can't trust all major manufacturers of pet products to be honest about the ingredients that they're using, where they're sourced. There is a lot of loopholes that can be found in uh, the pet industry as far as labeling foods go. And pet parents are starting to realize that. As I said, I'm one of those pet owners. Um, Obviously, doing the work that I do, I get to stay on top of the research and the latest things that are going on in the pet industry. And so uh, this new clean eating fad for humans, it has leached over into the pet industry. And I was actually able to speak with Erin Beach, who is the brand manager for Neutro. Neutro is uh, quickly becoming a very popular name in the pet food industry. Um, and most of you, I'm sure, have heard about them. So I wanted to speak with Erin about clean eating, some new products from Neutro that are helping us to feed our pets clean foods, um, what it all means, and you know the trends that we're going to be seeing how things might be changing in the pet industry because of these. So we had a really great conversation. Um, Unfortunately, uh, Aaron wasn't able to be here in person. We emailed back and forth. But um, I asked, you know, to start out, many pet owners purchase their food based solely on price, um, maybe brand recognition, a combination of the two. Um, This is concerning to me quite often when I talk to people about pet food. You know, this is something that comes up and they say, well, you know, we can't afford the higher end stuff or, well, I I buy um, this type of food and they'll say the brand name and it's a very well-known brand name. It's on TV and commercials. Uh, It's in magazine ads. You know, we see it all over the place. And um, unfortunately, I'm aware that this brand may have had a recent recall or multiple recalls in the past. Um, And I bring this up and people don't realize, they they just assume that if, uh, you know, if a brand is highly recognized, it must be reputable, which isn't unfortunately always the case uh, for us as consumers. That can't be something that we just rely on. And of course, we're all on a budget and I completely understand that. My rule of thumb for pet owners that I always tell them is that you wanna buy the highest quality food that you can afford for your pet. This is actually going to pay off in the long run for a number of reasons. One of the biggest ones is because your dog's going to be healthier. If he's eating a higher quality diet, he's going to have better nutrition. He's going to be healthier. And that's going to cut down on your overall health expenses, whether it's supplements that you were adding to inadequate food or it's veterinary care for uh, issues, maybe, you know, skin issues from a lower quality food or, um, 
you know, gastrointestinal issues. Maybe it's something that, you know, you're using a really poor quality food and there's some questionable ingredients in there that maybe are linked to uh, diseases such as cancer. And, uh, you know, getting him away from that food is going to reduce his risk of that thus saving you money in the long run. Um, So really, price isn't something that we should be focused on. And Erin actually explained that many factors go into a decision of what the best food is for your pet. And there's a variety of options available for pet owners. Just because your veterinarian recommends, uh, you know, this type of a diet doesn't mean that there's only going to be one option. Whether your dog needs something like gluten-free, whether you want to feed um, a paleo diet or a raw diet or make sure that your dog's, you know, into the clean eating um, trend, you know, there's multiple options out there. And so Erin explained that some pet owners perceive products at a lower price point as lower quality, but the reality is that consumers vary widely on their own feeding philosophies, shopping preferences, and budgets. Natural foods, which often come at a higher price point, are tailored to the desires of consumers who wish to feed customized nutrition that more closely mirrors their own eating values or fits the unique nutritional needs of their pet. Now, you know, yes, we can say it's usually perceived that products at a lower price point are of a lower quality. Nine times out of 10, that's true. If they're using lower quality ingredients, it's costing them less to make the food and they pass those savings on to consumers. Um, It's certainly, you can't say it's the case 100% of the time, but most certainly it usually is. Um, Like Aaron said, you know, natural foods often come at a higher price point, but they also offer uh, a value for pet owners that uh, is unmatched by lower quality products. Oftentimes, lower quality products include less than ideal ingredients. They use fillers, um, different artificial preservatives, colorings, flavorings, Things that over time, you know, aren't good for your dog's body and will take their toll on his health. Some of these ingredients cause things like obesity and diabetes. Um, As I mentioned, some products use chemicals that have been linked as carcinogens to, um, you know, to be cancer-causing agents. So it's really important that you do the research and you take the time to find a quality food for your dog. And as I said, you know, my rule of thumb, the thing I always tell everybody is find the highest quality product that you can afford. You don't have to go out and spend, you know, five or $600 a month feeding your dog this fresh food that's delivered to your door that's made with top quality ingredients. Of course, that would be awesome if somebody can afford it. But if you can't afford that, you know, by all means, find a commercial kibble, but make sure that it's made with quality ingredients. Now, I spoke a little bit about clean eating um, earlier, and I asked Erin what clean eating for pets uh, means. And the response was that in 2007, the Neutro brand introduced Neutro Feed Clean, this philosophy, this new philosophy that they had. Um, And the brand's goal is to deliver high quality products that meet nutritional needs of pets while also delivering recipes that are simple, purposeful, trustworthy, recipes that are made with real, recognizable ingredients with a purpose. They're not just throwing stuff in there to make it look good. These ingredients all have a reason for being in there. And the Neutro brand, they're trying to set a new standard and pioneer this these healthy recipes for pets by exclusively sourcing non-GMO ingredients as close to their native form as possible. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, that's what clean eating really is all about. You're not processing the foods and, you know, making them less nutritional. You are sticking to as close to their native form as possible. And Neutro with this new feed clean philosophy, they are focusing on the clean eating, which also means never adding any artificial preservatives, flavors, colorings. Um, The recipes don't use ingredients like chicken byproduct meal, corn, wheat, soy protein. A lot of those are fillers that uh, less quality products will use. Um, The Neutro brand, they they believe in making a nutrient-rich food. They want every ingredient to serve a purpose and make 
a high quality protein, the foundation of each recipe. And we're seeing that as a trend in the pet industry right now. A lot of brands will advertise chicken is the first ingredient, beef is the first ingredient, real duck or venison is the first ingredient. And that is becoming more popular. Um, But again, you know, recipes that use this are not the bottom of the barrel. So if you're just looking based on a cheap price, you might not be noticing this. If you take a glance up to the shelf above and you look at some of even, you know, not the highest quality products, but the, those middle ground products, they're starting to realize that this kind of stuff is really important. And, uh, you know, so making sure that a high quality protein is the foundation of the recipe. It's certainly important for you to look for as a consumer, as a pet owner. Um, It's something that, like I said, Nutro's focusing on at these new recipes. So I was impressed with that. Um, Erin also said that the brand is aiming to establish a trustworthy relationship with pet parents by protecting the integrity of the food at every stage of the process. So that means sourcing from trusted farmers and suppliers, preparing only in trusted high quality facilities and testing for quality and safety rigorously throughout the production process. Now, again, this is something that really stands out to me because we have seen in recent years this slew of different recalls from so many brands. And yes, some of them are, um, you know, brands that serve raw diets that, um, you know, prepare commercially available raw diets. And so, you know, some pet owners will say, well, the food's raw, so there's more of a chance of, you know, trouble and, and bacteria and things like that. And some pet parents will say, well, you know, the recalls all come from those really super cheap brands that are kind of bottom of the barrel. That's not true either. There have been recalls from brands on every level of the pet food spectrum, There have been recalls for so many reasons, uh, some of which have obviously been, you know, bacteria, disease-causing issues, but some of them have also been the quality of the food, the quality of the ingredients used. Um, So you really need to be careful of that. Don't just research the food that you are thinking about buying, but research the company as well. What is their, uh, you know, what do their recall history look like? Are they sourcing from trusted suppliers? Are they preparing in high quality facilities? Are they testing throughout production? You know, these are things that Nutro is offering that should, in my opinion, be the standard in the pet industry. But unfortunately, right now, the regulations uh, in the pet food industry are not nearly what they are in the human food industry. And so these things aren't the norm for every single company. These things aren't standard in the industry. So you have to be careful about that. And I think it's something that pet owners aren't really educated about. And it's something that pet owners aren't really aware of. It's not something we think about. You think about, you know, for example, you look at the packaging, you look at the ingredients that are used, and you just think, you know, as long as they're using trusted ingredients, it must be good for my dog, right? But not always. You have to look at the company's reputation as well and and see how they're making their food and, and what ingredients they're using. If they're using a high quality protein, that's great. But where is that protein coming from? Is it coming from a company like China that's had some serious issues with ingredients um, that they've been sending, exporting to other countries? So there's a lot more to it than, uh, you know, just thinking about the ingredients or the price or, um, you know, finding a brand that is well known. Um, And, you know, getting back to the clean eating, I asked Erin how the trend was changing the pet food industry. And I was really impressed with the response. Um, Nutro is a brand owned by Mars Pet Care. And uh, Erin explained that Mars Pet Care is constantly thinking about how to reimagine its portfolio to ensure that it's meeting the changing consumer needs. Now, Mars is obviously, uh, most people have heard about them. I'm sure you have uh, one of the biggest manufacturers of pet food in the market, but they also manufacture a ton of products for humans as well. Um, and Aaron explained that the goal has for them have always been and continues to be to deliver high quality products that meet the nutritional needs of pets. The sweet spot that they found, which I was talking about uh, in the introduction for this 
podcast is that they're they're beginning combining those popular human trends, like I said, that we're seeing with an insight about the pet food category to help develop new products. So as we see these trends in human food, because we're all so concerned with the foods that we're eating and the foods that we're feeding our human family members, now they're looking at combining those leaching that information into the pet food industry, you know, looking at what is needed for pets and, you know, are these diets going to be good? How can we use these trends in the human pet food industry to also create a better, healthier product for pets? And one of the biggest human trends currently that's making its way into pet food, as I mentioned, is the clean eating movement. Now, non-GMO is becoming a purchase driver for consumers. They want non-GMO products. If you don't know what GMOs are, they're genetically modified uh, organisms. So it's genetically modified ingredients and and, um, non-GMO would obviously mean that there are no GMOs in these products. And that is becoming a driver for consumers who want more than just natural. They want clean. We don't just want something that says natural, um, you know, we're using natural ingredients like protein sources, vitamins, and minerals naturally come from um, fruits and vegetables. That's all great, but how was the fruit or the vegetable grown? How was the chicken raised? Is it pumped full of hormones? Um, are the fruits and vegetables genetically modified? If pet owners, and and not just for our pets, but for ourselves, we don't want just natural. We've realized now that for a while, there was this blanket on ingredients called natural, and it made us all think that everything was super healthy. And now that we've pulled off that blanket and we see that there's a lot of things under that label of natural that aren't necessarily healthy, like genetically modified organisms in our food. So we don't just want natural. We want clean, and we want this for our pets too. So this is why Nutro developed their Feed Clean recipes. And the Nutro brand is just one example of how Mars Pet Care is evolving their offerings. Um, And they believe that they're offering pet parents more choices when it comes to selecting the best food for their dog or their cat. Um, And this can be found, you know, like I said, it's not huge yet, but it's coming. There are other brands out there. um, And it's definitely something, you know, I see that, you know, Mars is kind of taking the initiative on this. They're working towards that clean eating. um, And they want pet owners to have this option. And I think we're going to see more of that coming in the pet industry, getting away from genetically modified organisms, getting away from just a blanket label of natural on foods, but specifying that these are clean products. These are not refined. They're not processed to the point where the nutrients in the foods are being lost. This is the trend that's coming and it's in a, it's a trend that I'm very excited for. Um, it's a trend that I, I watch and I'm trying to keep up with um, finding brands, you know, like Nutra with their feed clean recipes, seeing more products like that come out on the market is really exciting for me. It makes me really happy and uh, excited to see where the pet food industry is going to go in the next few years with this. Um, I did ask Erin to what we as pet owners should be looking for when we're shopping for food for our pet. Um, And you know, this is such a hard thing because every pet is different, whether you have a dog or a cat. Not all dogs are the same. Not all cats are the same. Not all breeds are the same. Um, You know, even ages, you, you take adult food for adult dogs or adult cats. There's so many different recipes out there. And uh, Aaron said that choosing the right food isn't as challenging as you would think. It just takes some time and research. Learn about the different options that are out there. Learn how to read the labels. Ultimately, consumers should align their feeding preferences with their price point. And you're going to find some high quality product that fits your pet's needs. And, you know, I really agree with that. Like I said, you know, my rule of thumb earlier, aligning that price point, um, you want the highest quality that you can afford. Um, And it, it is about taking the time. It's about doing the research search, learn about your dog, um, have a conversation with your vet, look for a canine or a feline nutritionist if there's one in your area. Um, you know, this is especially important if your dog has some health concerns or your cat has some health concerns that you want to address through diet. Uh, but, you know, learn how to read labels. There's information out there. There is um, an article on our sister website, topdogtips.com. 
Uh, there is a, a couple of great articles there about learning to read labels. The information's out there. It definitely takes time. It definitely takes research and effort on your part, uh, but it can be done. So I just wanted to thank Aaron Beach, um, Neutro Brand Manager, for you know consulting with me. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, we couldn't get in touch Um live but it was great to email and get those responses and um, it certainly helped me gain a little bit of insight about this clean eating trend like I said I'm looking forward to watching it Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated on it of course if you guys liked this podcast episode be sure to jump on iTunes and uh, just give it a quick review that helps when I'm reaching out to experts like Aaron Um, I can show them that you're out there you're watching you're listening you're loving it you want to hear more from experts in the industry Uh, so be sure to do that if you wouldn't mind I appreciate you guys listening Um, and if you want to see the um, podcast on our site it's theoryofpets.com there's some other great podcast episodes on there if you guys have missed them I have over 40 now that are up there um, about everything in the pet industry from training and grooming to feeding your pets. So uh, jump on there, check it out. Um, Again, if you could leave me a quick review, that would be great. I appreciate you guys listening and I will be back with another episode very soon.